centimeters at 1 meter 85. Can he use that to his advantage? We've well, seen the previous matchup. Maria Setic, the shorter but the sharper. Liang leaning back, obviously got his game plan before he comes into it. We know that Artomonov likes to take his time. Producing the shots later and Liang capitalising. Good left leg from Liang. He's had a good positive start here as a Chinese fighter. As have the Chinese national team at this competition. A couple of points of a difference into the last minute in this one. Ramps off of Russia made it through. Can his Russian teammate find a way back into this one. We know he's got all the skills. Certainly likes to take it slow and steady. Tries with a kick in the inside. Well blocked by Liang. Good punch from the Russian. Twenty seconds to go. 2-0 on the board. China ruling the roost at the moment. A nice shot from Artomonov just when he needed it. Well, I did say... He likes to leave it late and take his time. Speaking of time, as the referee steps in, just about four seconds left. Back leg turning kick from Liang. Well, Tomanov did so well there. Almost conceded that first round. Instead, it's tied up at two all. China against Russia. Finally poised. There's obviously a lot of Chinese success, as I mentioned. And then the women's 67 kilograms, which are up next, it'll be Huan Wang against Alexandra Kowalschuk, who are standing by in the call room. Then it'll be the old China battle in the men's minus 80s, Chen Li Long against Ren Ku. And then it'll be the under 57s, Lu Zhongxi against Great Britain's Jade Jones. Here we go in this one. It's a good start from Liang Yushai. Wasn't shy about coming forward, but Artomonov clawed himself back into it. Of course, evenly poised. A spot in the semi final in amongst the medal matches and indeed the cash prize options. from Artomonov, times that one nicely. Shouts of Jai Wo from the Chinese national team and supporters in the crowd. Artomonov 
put a bit of pressure on again. Good punch again from the Russian in red. Liang Yushai. Oh. Had a good start in the first round. Halfway through the second round, needs some points on the board. Back kick round the corner, and that will help his cause mightily. Perfectly timed, perfectly executed, and another perfect punch from Maxim. Mikhail Tomorov working away here. Couple of kicks on the inside. Tonic kick blasting home from the Russian. Is that a back kick? Liang Yushai led the first round. He's leading here in the second. Ten seconds. Can the Chinese fighter hang on in here and take a victory? That's excellent from him. Spins the Russian round and pushes him away. Takes the head kick though in the last second. Well, I did say Artomonov likes to leave things late. Creates the gam, John, though, nope, for falling. Just came so close there, Artominov. Well, he's an expert in being patient and executing just when he needs to. Scores on the board. One in favour. Mikhail Artominov showing that quality. I remember him winning the Grand Prix in London. Left it to the last second with a jumping chop kick. Did the same in Rome. There was literally a second left when he got this head kick on the board. It was a great back kick from Liang. That one in the last second. Well, it gives the Russian a chance to go for it here. Again from Liang, just finding the space. And he gets one to the body. Turn off again with the big punch though. The Russian executing perfectly. One one and Alexandra Kowalschuk standing by for the next matchup. And standing strong in the centre, the Chinese fighter. Well, he led in the first round, couldn't hang on to it. Led in the second. Here in the third, he's lost the lead again. Halfway through, two all. Good punch there from the Russian. And his composure and his timing. Lesson for anyone. Oh. Yeah, looking for an option, looking for a way back into this one. Or Tom and off. Oh, he plants his head behind the ear there. Oh. The Chinese fighter kills some precious oh. seconds on the clock and on the way through. off falling behind in the last seconds the top class from the young man from China as I said he led in the first couldn't hang on led in the second but when he needed it pulls one out and we are going to go into the golden score round
was the back kick round the corner that gave Liang a chance. And he's got a real chance now going into the golden score. Who's going to be, Russia or China? And a chance to make it into the semi-finals. I have to say, Yisha Liang has been excellent starting the faster, but we know that Artominov, when he needs it, has that concentration, has that patience. A minute to decide, two points needed. Liang looking with the back leg on the way through. Artominov generating the gam jump. Good work from him. Halfway to safety now. Good double attempt there from Liang. Excellent left leg short on the inside. Gives a salute to his teammates and a big bow to his coach. What a big win that is for him. Happy days for the host nation there. Big smile for Zhu Xiao Liang. And a big win against Mikhail Artominov. The Russian is out. The man for China is through. What a performance that was from him. Here's confirmation in the golden score round. Zhu Xiao Liang finding the answer. And finding himself through to the semi-finals. Well, just to let you know in terms of the progress so far, Kim Tihan is through, Yanka Walton likewise, Maxim Hamsov, Maria Stetic, they have made it into the semis. Shai Liang, excellent from him.